today we discuss about the nesting command uh, it basically creates a layout for the raw material and the part so click on nesting you have got four tabs in nesting nest settings stock parts processing <coughs> The next setting command standard stock library we give the standard stock table for the standard stock library we select the output folder for the nesting part <coughs> also we can give the cut layer and the attach layer for the nesting part we can discuss the nest parameters as edge to part distance that is the corner to, corner to part distance is 5 mm and part to part distance is 2 mm <coughs> next we can add stroke we are adding the stroke length of 3000 mm and width of 3000 mm and a thickness of 50 mm for the custom stock, we can also provide the standard stock in which the standard library is given. So now we will go for a custom stock part. Next, we will add the part of which uh, the layout should come out. So we select DXF from here and select the part. We select the DXF of uh, uh, flat pattern, flat pattern DXF of part. <laughs> this is basically a flat pattern of the part uh, whom nesting needs to be done. Click OK. So the part is here now. Also, we can provide the quantity. <coughs> How much quantity we can get for the part? And uh, batch quantity is uh, for assembly. How much? Uh, How much uh, batch assembly quantity we we can provide? Like, if we provide three four here, and we provide one here, so overall quantity will be four cross one four. We provide 2 here and provide 20 here, then overall quantity overall quantity will be 40, overall parts will be 40 in, in number. This will, this will make how many how many parts make assembly. This quantity tells how many parts makes assembly. And this is the total part part. So For now, we will go for one only, one part only, which which will covers the whole sheet of three thousand and cross three thousand <coughs> millimeter sheet. Next is processing. Here we can give the processing time as sixty seconds or whatever time we need to process the uh, final result. So click on start. It will take some time to get the results for the layout. Now we can see the preview in which the whole uh, in which the whole part is covered upon the sheet of 3000 cross 3000 millimeter length and width. So uh, only one part is nested and zero part is unplaced. <coughs> Utilization is 5.5% of the sheet. So we press OK. 
in order to get the part or DXF of the part, we will press OK. We get from the <coughs> DXF file which covers the whole whole sheet. So that's how <coughs> the nesting part, nesting command works. Basically, it nests all the parts inside the sheet sheet width we are providing. And we can increase the number to whatever extent we need it, which will cover the whole sheet part. So that's how the nesting commands works. Thank you. Next for giving 6000 cross 6000 uh, stock we will get the processing as follow in this figure so we we have got six part nested in the whole sheet of 6000 6000 cross 6000 1 2 3 4 5 6 six of the parts are nested and two parts are unplaced we we have asked for 8 quantity for a part but two parts are placed and uh, parts are unplaced. So that's how the nesting works. We press OK. And here is the layout for the six parts nested. So this is basically a layout, DXF layout, which is nested for uh, six parts. And this is a part and you can uh, export it to DXF file or whatever you want to have. So that's how the nesting commands works in Feed Metal. Please do like and subscribe to my channel, self-study mechanical techniques to succeed and press the bell icon. Thank you.